Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add voice and audio comments to your Google Documents by using the eComments Chrome extension. So you can see I have this Google Document open, and in the upper right corner, I'm now going to turn on eComments that I have installed. And you'll see when I do this, it brings up a menu of comments that I can insert into the document. Just like any other commenting system, highlight what you want to comment on, and then choose the comment that you want to insert. Now, one of the small annoyances of eComments is that as the teacher, when you're using the system, it hides the comments that are over in the margin. So you need to go and turn it off so that you can actually see the comment you've just added for your students. I should point out that your students don't see that menu of comments, that comment bank. They just see on their screens the comment that you've actually added in. Now let's take a look at how to use the voice commenting feature. So it works in the same way. I'll highlight a section. And then instead of using one of these pre-made comments, let's hit the video button, hit start recording. Hey students, it's really important when writing your introduction that you set up for the reader what the essay is all about and what you hope to prove in the essay. And so now hey I'm students, going... It's really important when writing your Reader. And so now I'm going to save this to my e-comments menu. You can see I can save it to the Docker slide, but I want to save it so that I can reuse it in future documents and so that I don't have to record it for every single student. So I'm going to say save to e-comments menu, and I'll call it intro tips for students, number one. And now I'll save that comment. And once it's saved, you'll see over here in my comment bank, I now have intro tips for students number one. So now anytime that I highlight, I can go over here to my comment bank, select intro tips for students number one, and the student will now see this link to watch my video comment. Now obviously I can be a bit more uh, explanatory in my video comment for my students, but for the sake of the demo today, I just kept it short and to the point. So that's how you can add video comments. To add audio comments, as you might have guessed by now, the process is very similar. We'll turn on e-comments and I will select the option here for add audio comment. Hey students, it's really important when writing your introductory paragraph to make sure that you let the reader know the points you're trying to prove with your essay. And again, hey students, it's really important when writing your introduction. And again, I'm going to save that as intro tips for students, and this time number two. And just as before, this will now be added into my comment bank, and anytime I highlight, I can now hit intro tips for students number two. And my student will see it just like that. So that's how you can add audio and video comments to your Google Documents by using the eComments Chrome extension. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.